guys and welcome to Stu Rhino. Um, on this episode, the third and final part of the old farm revival trailer. Get there in the end. Um, that we're doing. Uh, basically on this one, I've got the lights to fit, uh, the electrics to wire up, um, the deck to put down and fasten. Um, I've got the winch. I've got the um, wheels, I've got, yeah, basically all of the bits to put on to finish this off finally, um, so let's get into it. So basically, on this one I've got lights to fit, side marker lights to fit, license plate to put on, I've got two lights at the front to fit and then the wiring to come down from the front plug all the way down to the back here. Start by drilling all of the holes. So here I'm just drilling all of the holes for the lights to go in. And then I'll be fixing all the lights uh, and then wiring everything up. So I've got two side lights at the back. Um, two lights, main lights with your indicators and that included. I've got two um, lights facing forward up on the headboard. Um, so basically all of these go together. Pretty simple to wire up. Um, normally there's the yellow wire for your left indicator, a green wire for your right indicator. Um, black is normally well, normally it's reversed, but on this one it was actually um, just your side lights, normal lights. Um, red is your stop lights, brake lights, and um, white is normally the earth. So it's just a case of joining all the correct colours to the right colours, and then leading the cable down to the front where you've got a 7 pin plug. Uh, Mine actually came wrong in this kit, so I had to swap a couple of wires around to match my uh, U. So I did that and everything worked out good. So basically here, we've just got the deck just sat on the top, I've cut the bits out to go around the wheels and I've just clamped it into place just to see what it would look like. I'm quite happy with the fit. Um, I'll go around the edges with a special paint just to seal all the bare wood up, uh, just stop it rotting later down the line if any water gets in there. Um, here I'm just putting the board on to the front, measuring it up and cutting it to size. So that's my Milwaukee cold cut saw. It's actually um, got a steel blade in at the moment, so that's why it was struggling a little bit with this wood. Still did a fantastic job, though. That thing can cut through 20 mil steel. So. Um, here I am just cutting the alloy trim just to put around all the edges because the last thing you want is when you're loading things on and off the trailer to be chipping the wood around the edge. It just would not last very long, so and plus it makes it look a whole lot nicer.
So now that I've got all of the bits fixed, um, and well not fixed, all of the bits down and kept to size, it's now time to fix them all down. So basically the whole way around on the outside, all of the holes will be drilled and tapped. Um, and then I'm just gonna be using thread lock on all of them, uh, just to make sure they don't come out. Now I'm just using a punch, just to punch, centre of the hole, just to make sure that the drill bit doesn't drift off. And then I'll drill these holes out and then I'll tap them with an M8 by 1.5 tap. Uh, thread lock the bolts and then pop them in. So now it's on to the headboard. So all of the aluminium parts are all cut and ready to go. So it's case of drilling them through and bolting them through the headboard, through the steel box section frame. Because this is where most of the weight's gonna be pushing against when you're braking, when you're towing the trailer. So it needs to be nice and sturdy. I will be putting an aluminium plate uh, on the middle there so that when stuff's tied up against it, it's not rubbing through the, the deck wood and it adds a layer of protection. a quick tidy up. There we go, quite happy with how it's turned out. There's the lights on the front of the headboard there. The jockey wheel, winch, it's the finished product with the buggy all loaded up. And painted the wheels, so I've got bearing buddies coming for the center of those wheels. I've also got a bearing set there, set on the deck that I've got to do, as I'm not happy with how much plays in that's bearing on that right hand side so I'll get that done I've also still got the aluminium guards for the wheels to make up but I've been Covid's actually caught up with me this week so I've been off with Covid um, so I haven't been working on the trailer but it's given me a little bit of a chance to catch up 
Hi guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you've liked all three videos I've put up. I've tried to keep them kind of as much fun as I could, even though, yeah, trailer, it is just a trailer. Um, but hopefully you liked the, the one and the, the bits and bobs that I did on it. Um, so also at the end of this video I'm just going to do a little cover of what tools I've used in the project. Um, I also put a link down to the description of all of the bits and bobs that I've used, tools, parts, everything that I can remember. Um, right, and on the next video we'll be getting in to the Hooney Cart buggy, my next buggy project. So. That will be a lot more exciting than this train one. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. So here's my Milwaukee cold cut saw. I got this from the tool shed and it's helped me build most of my projects. Any project that involves steel. There's the Tolson saw um, that I've got from Top Mac, which is also great. Also got this pillar drill from Top Market which has saved me so much time. Uh, including the vice, the sliding vice and that, that's all from Top Mark. Um I got the Weltech welder from I think I've got online from Weltech themselves. Um, I got the helmet with it and that welding wire is from Bunnings Warehouse. That grinder is from Top Mark as well. And the vice is from the tool shed where I get my Milwaukee tools from as well. So all of this stuff helps me build my projects. So I'd just like to say a big thank you for the companies I get them off. Very happy with how everything turned out.